today we're going to be talking about SoFi stock and why it could be exploding soon. Let's get into the video. Hi everyone, my name is Zach and welcome back to Finance Bro. Before we get into the video, I'd like to ask you guys to please leave a comment of how many shares of SoFi stock you have and then also consider leaving a like and subscribe as it really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And if you guys are interested in seeing our public stock portfolio, you want to see why we invest in stocks and why we don't invest in stocks, and you also want a free stock that could be worth up to $70, go ahead and get signed up with public with the first link in the description it is a social investing app and it's really cool you can follow us there at its finance bro so here we are on public.com and you can see that SoFi was up 3% today and it was even up in after hours so we most likely found a bottom here uh, but we're going to be going over that in the technical analysis portion of this video we're also going to be doing a little bit of um, a financial analysis of SoFi and then also we're going to be going over a little bit of news um, and just an article on uh, on SoFi as well. So if any of that interests you, then go ahead and stick around till the end of this video. So here we are on seekingalpha.com and we do have this article called SoFi Technologies, why now is the time to buy? So uh, you can see here that we have a summary um, of what this article is about and it has some really interesting stuff in it. So let's get into it. SoFi's member growth accelerated in Q2 of 2021. Uh, the FinTech re reiterated its uh, forward looking uh, outlook uh, regarding revenues and EBITDA. Uh, with strong growth ahead, share of, uh, shares of SoFi are a buy. So let's go over this. Um, one second. So, uh, SoFi Technologies is a growing platform at a rapid rate and a steadily uh, and steadily rolling out new financial service products to improve customer monetization. So, uh, they are basically just trying to get a lot of customers right now, uh, and they will eventually uh, be rolling out new financial service products that maybe uh, net a better net profit um, and just increase revenue in general. So, um, SoFi posted impressive revenue gains year over year, and the fintech is set for continual growth this stock is a buy can uh, according to this author now they go into why SoFi is a buy. Uh, they say that um, SoFi's term for its customers have grown uh, from 750, not, uh, 759,000 in Q2 of 2019 to 2.6 million uh, in Q2 of 2021. So rapid growth there, which is equal to an annual growth rate of 84%. No, whether or not we're gonna continue to see that going forward is still a mystery, but it would be awesome to see. Um, let's see, although pandemic effects have started to wear off and people return to work again in Q2 of 2021, the fintech continued to see strong quarter over quarter growth in its customer base. SoFi signed on 279,000 members, new members in the last quarter, which is an increase of 12% quarter over quarter. Uh, if uh, SoFi continues to grow at this rate, the firm should, should see at least 3 million members by the end of the year. Now, that would be an absolutely insane growth rate, uh, but you know, I think it's very, very, very possible. So uh, let's go over this. Besides offering, offering lending and financial services products, uh, SoFi owns a payment processing platform aimed at the enterprise market. The digital payment uh, platform operates under the brand uh, Galileo, and it has also seen strong continual cons uh, customer growth year over year, uh, was 119%. So during the last quarter, uh, Galileo gained 9 million new customers, and the FinTech had 79 million customers on its digital payment. Digital payment pl platforms by the end of the year. Not only all of that, but they also have strong liquidity and low debt. Uh, so we will be going over the balance sheet in a quick second here. Um, but overall, you know, they do have not too much debt for a financial services platform with a good amount of money with cash and equivalents. Now there are some risks with SoFi as with any business, but without any risk, you're not going to get the RARI. So um, although SoFi is profitable regarding EBITDA, the FinTech can continues to post net losses, sadly, and it will likely continue to do so for a few more years as it pr prioritizes member and platform growth. Uh, but just like any company, most companies need to uh, actually focus on, kind of like, uh, say with this YouTube channel, we are trying to focus on getting as many uh, new subscribers as possible, um, and then 
eventually we will eventually start making more money with it but uh, right now our focus is on basically just uh, customer or in your in our case audience growth uh, so SoFi is focused on growing their business and then they will eventually find uh, different ways to make a lot more money um, so I mean any type of business needs to start out this way and they're doing just fine at that so the final thoughts that are coming from this uh, article from this author is that SoFi second quarter was good member and revenue figures kept surging and the fintech continued to roll out new financial service products the firm's fastest uh, area of growth uh, the full year revenue outlook was reiterated reiterated showing that the fintech is con confident in achieving its business goals the slump after earnings creates another buy the drop or dip uh, situation for sofi as the fintech gets ready to reach 3 million customers by the year end bye 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 so that's coming from uh, this article definitely a bullish article for sofi okay now we can go over a bit of an overview of the stock we can see here that obviously they are an 11 billion dollar market cap if we take a look at the statistics you can see that the market cap as of june 30th was 15 so we've come down about 4 billion in terms of market cap a lot of money out of this after the kind of uh, miss on EPS uh, but obviously as we talked before uh, they are going to continue to miss on a lot of different type of figures as they're trying to grow their overall customer base and then they will do uh, better later uh, but as we can see here financials have been going up um, the past uh, three years in terms of 2018, 19, and 20, uh, and it will in 2021 as well. Um, and then recommendations, uh, the, for Yahoo Finance has it between a buy and a strong buy. Uh, and then analyst price targets, there are only two um, analyst price targets, uh, but you can see that the price targets are um, 23 and then 30. So the average is $26.50, uh, and we are only at about $14.22. So almost 100% upside uh, in, t in terms of those analyst forecasts. Now, really quickly, we can look at their balance sheet. You can see here that as of June 30th, 2000, 2021, uh, which is the latest one we have, uh, they have about 7.6 uh, million in total assets con compared to 3.4 million in total liabilities, and they only have about 2.5 million in total debt. Uh, so they would easily be able to pay off their liabilities and their debt if uh, if necessary with the amount of assets they have so overall it's a pretty strong balance sheet i would like to see their total debt go down in the next quarter though personally but they are a uh, financial uh, lending service uh, provider so you know they are always going to have debt it's just the nature of the business okay and now we can quickly go over a bit of technical analysis so obviously after that earnings call they saw that we missed on some EPS figures um, as well as just profitability uh, figures that they wanted to hit but we did do extremely well over on revenue uh, and I think we have found a bottom here at the $13.50 or $13 uh, and 50 cent level uh, there's a bit of support there we do have a bit of a resistance here at 1466 uh, so if you can get above that resistance at 1466 uh, and tomorrow that would be extremely awesome uh, if we could open in the green tomorrow above 1425 I think we'll have a bullish rest of the week I mean uh, I know there's only two days left but I think we'll, we're gonna uh, see a bullish uh, trend start to break out here uh, just for the fact that um, I think we have just hit way undervalued areas here at the $13.50 level. So I think a new bullish trend will start. What do you think? That is pretty much going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys do have any questions about anything, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. Uh, if you find any value in this video, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe and consider turning on post notifications so you never miss a video from Finance Bro. My name is Zach and I hope to see you in the next video.